proximal anastomosis using a parachute technique. For this procedure you will need a piece of descending aorta and a piece of ureter. The instrument list is described in your workbook. Prepare the ureter with an oblique transection and then ask your assistant to hold the very tip of the conduit and make a backwards cut to give the desired shape and length for the anastomosis. Inspection of the conduit will reveal the lumen and the shape. To make a hole in the aorta, use a 15-bladed knife, which you will see is the same diameter as a 4mm aortic punch. Make a single stab incision in the aortic wall. Introduce the aortic punch edge first into the incision. Pull up on the punch without dislodging it. And engage the punch to create a circular smooth hole. Using a 5.0 proline Weight one end of the suture with a shod artery forcep and put to one side. You need to consider the spacing of your sutures to ensure that the heel of the conduit lines up with the appropriate part of the anastomosis. Starting approximately halfway along the conduit, pass the stitch from outside to inside and then from inside the aorta to outside at the three o'clock position as if you were looking at a clock face. you should aim to space your sutures in such a way as to use five sutures to complete this, semi, this semicircle. Pass the second suture in exactly the same way and then ensure that the next suture goes through the heel of the conduit and through the hole in the aorta at the 12 o'clock position. Continue on the other side of the heel going from outside the conduit to inside and from inside the aorta to outside. When you reach the nine o'clock position, exactly opposite the first stitch, You are now in a position to lower the conduit onto the aorta. Lower the conduit gently, without tension. Your assistant plays an important part in this. Now, using the same suture, 
continue the anastomosis passing from inside the aorta to outside. At all times, ensure that you are able to see the smooth passage of the needle from conduit through the full thickness of the aorta. When you reach your starting point, secure the anastomosis with a knot. When you tie your knot, attempt to do so in such a way that the knot lies on the outside of the aortic wall and doesn't fall into the anastomosis. Check the external appearance of the anastomosis and then check the interior appearance by transecting the aorta and opening the anastomosis out. Check for even spacing of full thickness sutures and take a probe, pass it up the conduit and confirm patency.